How are you? So in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about torsion equation. Don't worry, you can easily see I got very good camera, right? So torsion equation derivation you are going to learn today in this video tutorial only. So let's get started. So before going to start, let me draw a, you know, let me draw a cylinder, right? Because this is important. Without this diagram, it's like impossible to share with you torsion equation. So what exactly I am doing, one side, they, uh, this is the cantilever cylinder, you can say that, and one side is fixed and other is free. That's why it is known as cantilever. So this is, uh, let me just fix this. This is it. And let me do a little bit this angle. Suppose that its radius is R. And this should be circular, right? And this is R. And let me share with this is suppose that the angle is theta and this one is A, this is B and this is C. And here angle is gamma. This gamma is known as shear strain. Uh, length of this cylinder suppose that L. Right? Now we have done with the diagram. So what we required right now that is important assumptions what are assumptions we have to consider i mean for doing derivation assumptions play most important role okay so first assumption is the material we are using in this cylinder should be homogeneous it should follow it should follow hooks law right and third assumption which is most important circular section circular section must be circular for the whole path I mean from here to here the section must be circular so three these are three most important assumptions okay based on these assumptions we are going to drive the relation of it right so first of all we have to use one of one of the most basic formula probably you have studied about that formula in class 10th that is arc is equal to radius into angle so here arc is bc first equation Again, we have arc BC is equal to the shear strain into L, equation 2. This is the 10th class concept. And we also know that know this by popular by popular equation that is that is equal to theta is equal to L by R. Okay. So uh, probably you know that is depend on you how you are taking this equation okay so that's it now from these two equation we can say that r theta is equal to gamma into l gamma into l so, and we can say also say this r is equal to r uh, sorry is gamma is equal to uh, r theta by l we can also say this let's say this is equation number three now let's come to the most common thing that is modulus of rigidity that is denoted by most of the book denote or most of the time we have studied modulus of rigidity is capital G. So what is basically capital G that is ratio of shear strain sorry shear stress by shear strain it is the ratio of shear stress by shear strain so shear stress is denoted by tau and shear strain is denoted by gamma so from this what we got that and we can also say this shear strain is equal to tau by g okay now let's say this is equation number four now see equation number 4 and 3 what we can say r theta by l is equal to tau by g what we can say r theta by l is equal to tau by g we, we can do little bit uh, you know cross multiplication r should be here and we'll send this g to here 
सो वट विल गेट नाउ टॉप बाई आर इज इक्वल टू जी थी टॉप ऑन एल ओके सो अवर एक्चुअली वट इज अवर मेन मोटो दैट इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट राइट वट इज अवर मेन मोटो दैट इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट वंस वी कम टू नो वट इज अवर मेन मोटो देन थिंग्स बिकम थिंग्स बिकम क्वाइट इजियर बिकॉज आवर मेन मोटो टू गेट इक्वेशन इज वट वी गॉट टो बाय आर इक्वल टू जी थीटा अपॉन एल इज इक्वल टू टी बाय जे सो दिस इज अवर अल्टीमेट इक्वेशन वट वी गॉट टिल नाउ टो बाय आर इक्वल टू जी थीटा बाय एल दैट मीन्स हाफ द ऑफ द इक्वेशन इज डन सो फॉर ड्राइविंग टॉर्जन इक्वेशन वी हैव टू कंसिडर अ सर्कुलर क्रॉस सेक्शन जस्ट आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विथ यू इन द नेक्स्ट पेज ओनली डोंट वेरी You will understand. You will understand each and everything what I am sharing with you. So first of all, draw a circular cross section. This is a circular cross section, and suppose that this circular cross section having its little cross section diameter and cross section radius is d r, and from here to here it's a d r, and here shear stress is acting tau, and here also shear stress is acting tau. i can say this right now we can say this we can say that force on each element is equal to what we can say that force is relation between force and stress is stress is equal to force by area so here what exactly force is acting that is shear i mean what is force based on the shear stress shear stress upon area shear stress is denoted by tau and area of this is 2 pi r dr approximately we can say this this is the area of it now what we can say because of this force there will be there will be produce moment Uh, about the center of axis of the shaft okay therefore what will happen to 2 pi r dr multiple r therefore we can say that 2 pi to r square dr okay now what we can say we can do integration to find out total torque total torque let's say denoted by capital t so 0 to r 2 pi to r square dr now we know that one thing is clear from here that is to by r is equal to g theta by l therefore to is equal to g theta r by l okay so this is r now what we can say here what we can say here from that equation we got that okay so what we can do it because one thing is you know one thing is here one thing is here we need to understand this right so basically what happened here i have taken this capital r okay so i can do one thing i can just consider this as small r because i wanted to share with you this one so small r is here so we can say this this right now what happened at the i have shared with you that thing that's why probably you got confused that's why that's why i have shared with you okay so this is the relation we can also write okay so small r and capital r same here okay so what we can do we, we got this here now we have to write this here also okay so 0 to r 2 pi g theta r by capital l multiple r square dr now let's just got all these constant values outside so 2 pi g theta by l 0 to r r q dr till now i hope you understood right now from integration what we got from here 2 pi g theta by l r to the power 4 by 4 0 2 okay let me use okay you have noted down all this okay don't worry we'll use another piece that's why you can understand right so for 
is equal to what we got here 2 pi g theta by l r to the power 4 by 4 minus g, uh, 0 to the power 4 by 4 what we got here 2 pi g theta by l r to the power 4 by 4 t is equal to this okay now 2 pi g theta by l let's say r is equal to d by 2 so d by 2 to the power 4 by 4 so let's say 2 pi g theta by l d to the power 4 4 multiple 16 2 8 okay so 2 8s are 16 so pi g theta by l d to the power 4 32 okay so we can say that g theta l pi d to the power 4 by 32 okay now one thing we can do here that is we know that j means polar moment of inertia is equal to pi by 32 d to the power 4 for circular section okay so we can write this in place of this as j right so g theta l multiple j t is equal to this now we can send this j to this side so t by j is equal to g theta by l let's say this is equation number which one we have already done with 4 so 5 okay so now let's come to here from this equation and from this equation what what we can write t by j is equal to tau by r is equal to g theta by l and this is this equation is known as hopefully you know tau is an equation let's say it's my small r so uh, t by j tau upon r is equal to g theta by l this is known as torsion equation and this is the derivation of torsion equation i hope you understand the derivation and uh, hopefully you can do better in the examination for what you are watching this video dot well well thanks for watching and if you got help from this video i will ask for you help to share this video with your friends that's why whom uh, who uh, need this video tutorial the most that's why uh, they will also get something from this video tutorial thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye